A group of Saudi Daisy High School students hopes to garner the attention of NASA. Tomorrow, they'll reassemble and race a vehicle they engineered over a half-mile simulated lunar terrain course. WDEF News 12's Jola D reports as we cover the classroom. The work being done inside Saudi Daisy High School is truly out of this world. It's called a moon buggy. Matthew Addison and several classmates designed and built their own lunar rover using nothing but spare parts. I found it at a junkyard. All the parts are used off of either a foiler, one parts is foiler, part dirt bike, part TV antenna. While getting a taste of what it's like to be an engineer, Matthew's senior project also serves a purpose for NASA. Three, two, one. And the space agency space continues to search forward. for the best vehicle designed to explore the lunar surface when America returns to the moon in 2018. As long as your body parts are 15 inches above the ground, anything goes. It just has to be human powered, has to fit in a four foot cube. Matthew and his sister Emily use the school parking lot for a test track. Navigating potholes, speed bumps, and gravel, or simulated craters, lava ridges, and lunar rocks. I constructed mine out of uh, to just to be just to be durable, and I want to be able to make the track look easy. Matthew entered NASA's moon buggy competition last year, and while he favors this recumbent style bike design, he decided not to completely reinvent the wheel. All right, whatever you want. Matthew's classmates will race a modified version of last year's entry. Last year, we went over the first obstacle and the um, wheel just uh, bent in half. Students adjusted the steering and added steel wheels to improve stability for the race to the moon. In Saudi Daisy, Joe Lugie, WDEF News 12. Now, students have to address a series of engineering problems in their design, similar to problems faced by the original moon buggy team. The two-day competition ends Saturday night.